Agent Cold felt distant. She heard the director's serious tone. She knew what it meant, but she wasn't there. She was floating somewhere outside of herself. It was safe there. A hiding place from the pain that would pierce through the walls she'd built up like an arrow through paper. Here, she could remember things like they had once been. Here, she could believe that one day, she'd see Felix again. You broke into the Megrim holding facility and damaged agency property. This is not something the agency can forgive. The director folded his hands on the desk. Felix wasn't someone she dreamed about loving. He'd spent most of his time at his computer, either working or playing those games he raves about. In fact, when they'd first met, she found him unattractive, with his messy hair, badly shaven beard, and oversized clothing. Now she wore his shirts, just to feel close to him. Now she played his games, so that she could understand why he'd burst out laughing randomly. Now she used his aftershave, so that she'd never forget his smell. I was able to knock your punishment down from execution, but you have to work with me. You have to say that you understand. The love grew slowly, but stronger than any she'd ever known. Before she knew it, she began looking forward to talking with him. She realized that the things she once hated, she now found endearing. She found herself ruffling his hair into a mess, because she liked it better that way. When he agreed to a date, she felt like her future was looking bright. She felt like the dark clouds she'd lived under had opened up, letting the sun shine through. Pain arced through her cheek as she was yanked back into the present. Her hand went to her cheek, where the director had slapped her. She felt the panic rise as the guilt and grief she'd been hiding from came flooding in. Her body shook, and her breathing became ragged, uncontrollable. She felt the floodgates open as a wail escaped her body. A wail of a horror she'd never wanted. A wail that begged for forgiveness. You broke into the Megrim holding facility and terminated Subject G-34. Along the way you took out five armed guards and thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Because of this breach, several Megrim victims got out and were able to kill three of my best agents. The Megrim that escaped had to be terminated killing the host victims as a result. We lost more than 12 good agents because of your insanity. We were looking for a cure, Agent Cold. They didn't have to die. Felix did. Felix could still feel the long tendrils of the Megrim snaking beneath his skin and into his organs. That's why he was screaming all the time, begging to be saved while the Megrim used his body as its own. His screams had haunted her dreams for months, while the director promised a cure. She heard his calls for help. She heard him beg for death. She heard his bones crack as he fought against the Megrim's control. She could hear his screams over the thousand other victims when she pulled the trigger and ended his suffering. You are now being relocated to the prison facility in Antarctica. There you will live out the remainder of your life a prisoner. Do you understand? She said yes, between sobs.